Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name once again is Jason, and today we're playing some more Elder Scrolls Arena. Hopefully this time here we'll go ahead and complete Selene's web. You know, before I enter this room, let's go ahead and um, pop a healing potion and a restore, maybe a couple of restore powers. Just in case I don't know what's in here. For all I know, there will be a giant spider which will try to come out and suck my brains out through my eye sockets. Ah! It's the giant spider bridge! Or two spiders on either side of the bridge. Alright. That's a little bit less scary. Um, what is scary though is that I'm next to a lot of water. These suckers, like I stated before, will paralyze you in the water and then it is game over. We don't want that. Light heal. Okay. Um, there's something glittering right on one of the islands I was supposed to try to get. Is that it over there? No, probably not. Let's jump over there and see. Um... It's where the heart would be. That's right, the heart. I'm looking for the uh, Celine's heart. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid that spider for now. Uh, let's see, over here. No, oh, there's a spider over there, but there's some loot over there. I want that loot. So let's go ahead and cast some fire dart. At this spider and Maybe, maybe I need to upgrade my spells a bit. I'm not sure if uh, three three hits from a very lengthy uh, cast animation is really worth, um, we'll say, my magicka or spell points as it's referred to in this game. I don't see where. Um, maybe if I use a light spell, I can see where this glittering thing is. No, it doesn't really reveal it. Is it uh, over on the far side? Alright, let's just jump across. Kind of. Let's see if we can't find this uh, glittering thing that was mentioned. Oh, there's a minotaur. Over there. Dude, listen, I'm sorry. I broke into your house, yes. I might have stolen a couple things and killed you a couple times. Doesn't mean you need to, like, hold a grudge, alright? Just business. Or some other cliched statement about why you shouldn't be upset about me being a total jerk. You ever get that? I, I just... It, it cracks me up when, when people do that. They're like... They have some excuse about for being a jerk. They're like, hey, yeah, I'm a jerk. But I... No, I... I no, or I, I just say it how it is. You know, you can say things how they are without being a total... Yeah, I'm holding my tongue because I like to try to make my content as accessible for all ages as possible. And also, as somebody who has a kid who likes watching Let's Plays, sometimes, you know, the content on the screen, even though it's, like, bloody and horrible and gory and, um, you know, it's probably not recommended for children. Well, I guess this one's not so bad, but other games, like, we'll say... The Serious Sam 3 I did and stuff like that. You know, the content might be a little bit harsh, but at the same time, you know, you can turn the screen away. You, you know, you can prevent someone from seeing something, but you can't always prevent them from hearing something. So, you know, I liked to watch uh, Let's Plays, uh, you know, on my computer while, like, saying, doing dishes, cooking, stuff like that. And... Where is this glittering thing they were talking about? Am I, am I totally blind? I think I'm just totally... Do I just need to kill the spiders? Is that what, what it is? If I kill the spiders, will, like, cool stuff come to me? Alright, let's just try that. But yeah, so... You know... Oh my goodness! I need something that can protect against paralysis. Uh... Yeah, so, you know, I, I, don't want, I don't want my, uh, you know, I can prevent my kid from uh, seeing some things. You know, it's obviously not appropriate for, um, you know, their age. But the hearing thing is a little bit more difficult. So I try to pride myself on keeping myself clean, at least. Uh, just because, you know, 
It's not because I'm, I'm like, oh no, it's the internet. I can't, I can't swear or anything. That's just like, oh, that's rude. That's a personal rule. I don't like, I don't generally like swearing. It's not, just not my thing. I, don't, I got no problem with people doing it, but I just don't do it myself. Uh, and, uh, but, but regardless, I understand that, you know, you don't always want your kids to hear that. And out of consideration for those people who might have their computers on volume, they're not wearing headphones for, you know, a reason they can't or whatever. I want to try to keep my content as clean as possible for them. So, yeah. Basically, I try to keep my, uh... Ah, there's a key. Holy cow, I would have never seen that. You have found a gold key. I am amazed I saw that. That was... Ah, oh, wow. I am lucky. Holy cow! They're everywhere. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So now that we've got a key, I guess I gotta find the door that the key leads uh, leads to. So, uh, I guess we're not as close to finishing this dungeon as I originally expected. Something glitters on the stones on one island. All right, well, we've got the key, so now we probably have to go all the way over to the other side. Let's uh, delete that note. We no longer need it. Um, is there a, like an elevated place I can try resting again? Yes, there is. All right, let's try this again. Even though there's minotaurs over there, but I, I don't think they will... Uh, Oh, no, I fell through. Okay. Can, can I jump? Thank you, I can jump. I noticed that uh, like the jump command and certain key things only work if uh, your mouse cursor is in up in the, the upper portion of the screen. They will not... Uh, it will not work if your mouse is down below. So, if my, my cursor is down here, I hit Shift-J, I won't jump. I put it up here, I can jump. Just a little annoyance. All right, so I've got the key. Wait, I just noticed something. There's a green door up here and a blue door here. Oh, are you kidding me? So yeah, there is a second story. I, I, I saw the blue earlier, but I was thinking, oh, that's the entrance. But now that I think about it, blue, if I recall correctly, is that not a set of stairs leading down? Green is up, blue is down, isn't it? Okay, so the door that this key opens is likely on the bottom floor. So let's run on over there. Uh, that sounds like... Skeletons? There's a bit of like a shambling sound behind me, like... I'm guessing that's... Uh, skeletons. Spiders. Always makes me nervous when the sound is playing. It plays like right after I kill it. Uh, it always makes me think, "Oh crap! Where's the second spider? Where is it? Where is it?" But it just happens to be that sometimes the sound plays, um, despite the spider being dead. Did anyone else hear that? Okay, I'll answer for you. Yes, Jason, I heard that. Good. I'm not going crazy. There's some sort of weird. There we go. I was, I was trying to think of, I'm like, how, how do I... Oddly, this small passage bears marks of heavy use. I like that! I love the descriptive text! I love that! It's just... Oh. You'll have to excuse me, I'm, uh... Oh, that's right, ghosts! Oh, getting close, getting... Whoa! When was the last time I saved? Please tell me... Darn it. Darn it! Crappity crap crap crap. All right. Well, let's uh, just let's hurry up through here. I know exactly what I'm here for. 
Let's, uh, fire dart this thing until it is dead. Grab the key and get the heck out of here. Man. Oh, that sucks. I was, I was getting too used to, to, you know, being able to just live. I was like, oh, yeah, no problem. I'm just gonna... You know, I, I wasn't... I wasn't facing really anything super challenging, so I wasn't really worried. And uh, then that ghost just decided to just wreck me. So uh, yeah, I, I'm 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 am curious if the it's another uh, yes I'm I'm curious again I'm I, I'm a very curious person. I'm wondering if the spiders level up with you or if they are. We'll say a set level. I, I can't remember if spiders always pose this much of a challenge for me. Because I remember them dying fairly easily in, um... Oh, what was the name of that place? Fang Lair, was it? I think it was Fang Lair. Anyways. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide, figure out, you know. I uh, probably can't. Oh, yes, I can. Nice. I'm going to save right after I rest. That's when I should have saved last time. Uh, I wonder, if, okay, is it like, um, like Oblivion? Where the uh, enemies sort of level with you? Uh, which, actually, I don't think so, now that I think about it. Uh, or is it that each dungeon has its own set? Like, do the dungeons level with you, or is there a set, um... What is a way for me to word this? Basically, is the, the enemy composition made up of uh, enemies that are based on your level? Or does each dungeon have its own, we'll say, enemy table or uh, monster table that it draws from regardless of your level? So I'd, I'd be curious, I'd be interested in uh, trying to, you know, go uh, try coming here. Under leveled. Where's the, my, uh... Oh, are you kidding me? I lost all of my exploration and everything I did before. Man, I lost a lot with that, that death. Because I had this whole upper area explored. I can't... Yeah, and I had in there. Okay, wow. Oh, well. We saw it. It's on film. Film. Please, please tell me I'm not old enough that, that that word has no meaning left to the younger generation. And where the heck is that door? It's not on my map right now, but it was on my map before. Alright, oddly the small passage bears the mark of heavy use. Save game! Let's try this again. See, back in my day... Back in my day... <clears throat> no. Back in... Back in... I can't think of a, a good... Hello, ghost! You're not gonna get me this time! He made me eat those words. Alright then, he did get me that time. Let's see... Do I have a spell? I think now's the time to play around with some spells. Wander light, wizard lock, pitfalls, pass wall, open, Medusa's gaze, light, light heal, invisibility, earth wall. Hmm. Medusa's gaze. Doesn't that, like, paralyze enemies? Let's take a look at the spell book. Spell book. Spell book. Thank you. Cause paralyzation. 50% chance to paralyze, plus 2% every level. So I'm level 11, so basically that's plus 22. That's 72% chance. Duration is one round per level, so that's 11 rounds. How much is it? 76 that's going to cost a lot, but I want to try it out. So let's try this out, guys. We're going to use Medusa's gaze on that ghost. That specter, that whatever the heck it is. Sup, ghost. How are you doing? Oh, he's going to start shooting stuff at me. Well. I don't know what happened. 
He's obviously not paralyzed! And he seems to have sucked out all my magicka. Let's use some potions. And never mind, I'm dead. Hmm. Alright. It's time to go in and kick in the wall. You know what? Screw ki- Wait, kicking in the wall. That sounds like a- I was gonna say kick in the door, but- You know what? Kicking in the wall sounds like a great idea. Let's use pass wall. Boom! Boom! Kick in the wall, then I surprise attack him! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, ghost. <laughs> That's awesome! I basically blew open the wall, came through, killed him, and or killed him again because, you know, he's a ghost. And I can continue on my way. That is great. There's that sound again. I'm wondering if if basically every dungeon has its own set kind of um basically if all the dungeons have the same kind of music, which it, uh, so far it sounds like it, but there's uh we'll say different ambient sounds that plays for each dungeon because I remember uh some of the earlier ones I remember hearing like uh drums beating boom 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 boom. And I haven't heard those again, so, you know, like in Fang Lair and, uh, whatever the first dungeon was, I can't even remember anymore. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, is that what this dungeon's sound is, that boom? I don't know. It's cool. I like, I, I, I love sound work. To me, you see a door with a golden lock. The door with the golden lock. Let's do this. You open... You open door with a golden key. The way that's written, it sounds like it should be on a fortune cookie. You open door on... Golden key? I said it wrong, too. Alright. Yeah, roar yourself. Okay, I'm gonna make sure my health is all the way up, because uh, who knows when I'm gonna get, uh, you know, ambushed. Let's see here. Celine's web. Let's go ahead and uh, drop down here. That was cool. Oh no 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 no! Turn it up, Shia buffing again. If people don't understand why I said that. Um, Shia LaBeouf. In uh, pretty much every one of his movies, at least at one point, he will start just, just constantly ranting, raving, just no, 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 Man, I, 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 as confusing as they can be, I miss these levels. Oh, these, sorry, these dungeons. I was going to say dungeons, but then I started thinking about uh, how it, like, reminded me of, like, Doom and level design of the time. And I was thinking of uh, Doom, so that's why I was like, levels. Yeah, okay. Enough explanation. That's, that's, uh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. An empty room. Uh, well, holy crap! <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was a genuine reaction. That was, um... Well, I, I hope all my reactions are genuine, but that... <gasps> that guy scared me. It's, it's like in that brief instant, I just turn around and I saw him and I'm like, oh, That's a hellhound! And I thought I was going to die. Especially when I saw, like, the, the fire, because uh, I remember how much in Fang Lair, when I opened that door and I first saw those hellhounds, that uh, they just destroyed me. So I was just like, No! I'm dead. Ah! Yep. 
I'm dead. Huh. All right, well, it's, um, I'll try one more time. For some reason, I feel like this dungeon is taking longer than... What? What? No! No! And at this moment, Jason, overcome with despair... The display you exactly like the last time! Never mind, not exactly. I was like, I'm going up sideways a bit. The Minotaur gets to jump on me. I come up, kill him. Blah 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 blah. It's like I can I can feel, I can I can hear the despair in my voice. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm dead again. And you know what? I love it. I hate it, but I love it. I love that I I love that I can die, that I am dying. I was listening to a um, a podcast uh, the other day. I, I do that sometimes. I enjoy listening to other people just talk about uh, games. I don't know why anyone would want that, but I'm 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 a, I'm a weird one, tongue in cheek. Um, and uh, the um, they were complaining about uh, something in. I believe it was one of the Elder Scrolls games. I think it was Skyrim. And they they, they were complaining about it. They're like, oh, it was so frustrating. I died like four times. I just wanted to shut the game off. And I'm sitting here. I, I was laughing. Like, really? You died four times. And they were... Uh, and yeah, and they started bringing up other games. They were talking about it. Like, yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, die. I have to die that many times in a game. Or blah, blah. And like, it seemed like... The three was that magic number. If they lost three times, they they were genuinely upset. These guys were ready to just sort of flip out. These they were like, and they were saying how that was really crappy design. And now that I think about it, yeah, a lot of those comments weren't leveled at Skyrim. I can't even remember what the podcast was, but I do remember. They were talking about difficult games, and when they, they were talking about how, how if they died, like, three times, they, they, they were like, this is a crap game. And I'm like, oh, how times have changed. My saber is broken. All right. Well, good thing I went and bought some backup weapons. Why can't I use my buckler? Oh, my buckler is broken. Oh! Okay, so let's drop the buckler. Let's drop the saber. That could also be a reason why I'm having a, a, bit, a bit more of, we'll say, of a hard time. Uh, is because... I'm technically... Uh, my armor class is, uh... Well, I guess technically gone up. It's It's gotten worse. Where am I? But yeah, I'm used to... <laughs> I grew up in, we'll say, the NES days. I, I grew up playing arcade games. Dying three times? That was just called a normal run. You know? That's, that's called a quarter. What is this? Go away, spider! I want to explore this, this large thing to my right. It's got these little Christmas lights on it or something. Never mind, spider! Thank you for the level of experience! Okay. Right before, I'm assuming a boss. Let's see, what do I want to bring up? Agility is good. Uh, I got six points. Can I boost my... Oh, I can. Okay, let's see. I can boost my spell points and my two hit and defend. Uh, I want to throw one more point on... I'm actually wondering if I should put some points into uh, willpower, I think. There! Yes! My magic defense will actually be at zero, so I'm not going to uh, take so much damage from magic. 
because that's sort of my Achilles heel right now, so I think that's actually a, a good investment. So I'll bring up my agility to give myself the extra uh, plus seven, or plus one, rather, but bring me up to plus seven to hit and defend, and then I'm also going to uh, make it so that I'm not uh, taking extra damage from magic. Yeah, that's good. And uh, if I come across another buckler... I think I actually came across a buckler earlier, didn't I? And uh, I left it on the ground. I was like, oh, I don't need that. Moron. Alright, so I, I guess this is just sort of some sort of pillar thing in the middle. Oh! Maybe not. Let's see what lies behind this door. No! No! Back, spiders, back! Alright, let's try this again. Let's try to satisfy this curiosity. And hopefully we won't get attacked again from behind. The door before you has a diamond-studded lock. This is a magically held lock. Failure. Failure. I, I want to know if I can do this. Come on. No, I have a feeling this is one of the, one of them. Um, yeah, it, I think because it's magical in nature, no amount of picking is going to be able to open it. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I need to find myself a diamond key. Whoa. So we got lava in there. Oh. The heart is definitely in there. That's definitely where Celine's heart is. All right. All right. So, you know, I'm going to actually save uh, here as Alexis working. And uh, we're going to we're going to end the episode here. If you've uh, liked what you've watched, please uh, remember to like and uh, subscribe so that you can catch more of it. And uh, until next time, game on.